Third inning, no score. The American League has the game's only hit, and a new pitcher is in the game for Seattle, Freddie Garcia. 10 and 1, an ERA of 3.18. One eight, and one of the pieces to the puzzle in the trade made in 1998 between Seattle and Houston, which sent Randy Johnson to Houston. Chipper Jones will lead it off. It'll be Jones, Kent, and Aurelia, the bottom three in the order for the National League. Chipper Jones making his third start as an All Star. There's Jeff Kent on deck, and away we go in the third inning. That's the opposite way off the end of the bat, Manny Ramirez. Has it for out number one. That trade that you mentioned, the first superstar piece, and that trilogy of players that was that was traded from the Seattle Mariners. Actually, Randy Johnson traded at the trade deadline in '98, and Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. traded a couple of years later, and then Alex Rodriguez signing as a free agent. So in three and a half years, three superstars leaving leading. Leaving the Mariners, and what do they do? Win 63 games in the first half of the season this year. And that leads me to my question: As Jeff Kent stands in, one of the most productive second basemen in the history of baseball, with what he's done the last four seasons coming into this year, is there some theory you've come up with? Is there a reason why they've lost three of the game's best players, and now in 2001, this team's the best team in baseball? I, I don't. I don't think you could bottle a theory like that, but certainly pitching has a lot to do with it. And the guy on the mound, 10 and 1, with their terrific bullpen and their closer, who, whom I'm sure we'll see today. That's the Saki. You could make a strong argument for two of their other starters, sure, to be on this All Star squad. The line was drawn after eight, eight in the end after Cameron was added. Placing his friend Greg Vaughn. Three balls and a strike. Jeff Nelson added late. Aaron Seeley has had a terrific start to the season. Jamie Boyer. That is hard hit into left field. Off the bat of Kent and into the glove of Ramirez. Two up, two down, and down to Steve Lyons in the National League dugout. I'm with Randy Johnson. Randy, eight times you've been here. Another outstanding performance as a starter. Ichiro, the only guy that gets a hit off you. How did he look with you facing him? Well, I think he was kind of measuring me up. I was measuring him up as far as what he could foul off. And uh, I only threw two pitches in the second fastball he hit, and I fell off towards third base. And now I'm going to have to probably work on a little extra PFP now because as fast as he is, there's no way he can get over there falling off third base. Now, with the year that you've had so far with the 200 strikeouts already at the break, does the record of Nolan Ryan ever enter your mind? No, I'm, I'm more worried about going out than in the way that we're playing right now. I'm more worried about quality starts and strikeouts. You 